The newer generation is not so big on tradition, myself included. Besides, if you're lucky, you'll never even have to see me. Of course, by lucky I mean you die peacefully and happy and leave a lot of grandkids behind. So no, I don't show up to every death. My clientele are fighters, the ones that live on long after their time has passed. If you don't cross over on your own, it's my job to see that you do. My will makes decisions some people can't face on their own. In that last moment, in that infinite second, you have to want to live so badly, you'd be willing to give up everything that made it worth it. You have to be willing to do the unthinkable. What the hell was that? I mean, how stupid am I? What if she asks what I sell? Or wants to see where I live? I don't have a place to stay unless somebody's died and they're not going to be found for a couple of days. Sarah, I am... So I'm... sorry. I know. Listen. This is not your fault. Isn't it? Oh. It's not about fair. It's about life. Oh. That's why everything dies. That's just the way it has to be. And I have my entire life savings and three years tied up into this venture, and I'm not going to see something good vital and worthwhile be flushed down the toilet because you can't think of anything but that corn-fed Minnie Mouse that moved in next door. Your share of the profits can't pay for the banana and peanut butter sandwiches you eat. Are you out of your mind? I'm giving her a gift. You gave your mother a gift on Mother's Day, didn't you? I gave her a year's subscription to our magazine. You hardly know this girl. Well, what about friendliness and good neighborliness? Now, just hear me out, and if you're still upset, we can go back to angriness and destructiveness, all right? What you do is you take it by this end, and you flick it against the furniture, thus dusting it. Do you think you can handle that? Stein garden, beer garden! Oh, Mrs. McEnany. No, I wasn't trying to avoid you. I... I have an answering service on the side. Hey, listen, the, um, the reason I called earlier was to see if I could please beg off tonight's karate party. Well, I'm sure the Tokushimus are a lot of fun. I just, I just don't feel up to it. I, don't, I just really don't feel like being thrown against the wall all night. Railway Express will pick this up in the morning. Mrs. McEnany. I definitely can't make it tonight. Something urgent has just come up. Yeah. No, I'm sure. Well, if... Mrs. McEnany, this is hardly the time to discuss a rent increase. <laughs> well, for that matter, I could hardly pay a 15% decrease. All right. If that's the way you feel about it, you can pick your apartment up in the morning. <laughs> Taking the marijuana plant. Oh, <laughs>